Sorry, I could have swore I heard like a howling noise and I was trying to listen to see if I heard it again and I didn't. So I don't know what the hell that was that I just heard. But it was very strange. Alright you guys, what is up? It is Monday. It is art stream day. And we're gonna start to work on our project. I realized I should probably put a screenshot of the test pro or the not the test project but like the potential sample image that we kind of worked out um, in yesterday's planning stream for this one in the corner. Okay, we should probably do that. Now, um, we will be following along with Bob Ross's Joy of Painting Season 3, Episode 6, Covered Bridge. Um, so, if you would like to follow along with that, you can go and... Oh, can go and check that out on the YouTubes on the Bob Ross YouTube channel if you wish. Doesn't matter to me if you do or don't. I don't care. Not like I can make you anyway. But that being said, we're gonna get started here now. I know that um, I'm gonna try a new hanging method or display method. For these guys so it doesn't really necessarily have to be this exact size it's probably gonna morph in size a little bit as we um, as we go the the edges always don't like to be straight since uh, we're not going to the edge of the felt, it makes it a little bit harder at times. Kind of. But at the same time, I am trying to keep it at least a somewhat consistent size of our starting piece, at least starting out as a predetermined site. So this is roughly... need to ask you first. There are quite a few marks that look like this thing got stabbed at some point. You peel the outer leaves off. Yeah, I've already peeled a bunch of the outer leaves off. There were more out there, but this one's going particularly deep. Okay, what if you just slice that corner off? Oh, I've got plenty left to cut. I just want to make sure you're okay eating it when it's been like that. Just cut um, cut that section off. Yeah, it looks like that, that layer is actually the last one for that, so. I say the side that you're showing me. Yeah, as long as you're comfortable. Yeah, just, if you're weirded out about it, then cut that section. Well, I just won't eat it. Sorry, husband was asking me about the red cabbage that we bought. Kind of looking weird to him, but you know, at least this way they're somewhat starting out at somewhat the same size. So this is the backing to an 8 by 10 photo frame. All right. So, um, we do need to do our layout here for where sky and things are gonna gonna be so um, let's see 
Hang on, let me pull out the real sketch here. Because it's hard for me to tell from that image in the size that I have it in. Don't you fall. Don't, don't, don't do it. So we're maybe, maybe a third. So. This I do need a T square. Oh, don't whack the light bulb, girl. Please don't whack the light bulb. I, am, I know it's an LED bulb, but let's just not today. So if that's that and then maybe I think all these lines are gonna get covered up anyhow. So it probably doesn't really even matter all that much. It's, the bottom's a little skin skin. Alright. Like I don't think I really need quite that much. Yeah, that's probably a little better. All right. Um, okay, so... I think that's all of the guidelines we're going to start with. Because... The other stuff's, like, not really going to be seen... So, or it's gonna be getting covered up before we get there. So I think that's how we're gonna start out with this. If we need to add more lines later, we can with the chalk pen. If it comes to it. And sorry if my speaking is a little low today. Um, I'm exhausted. I think I've had maybe an hour and a half of sleep today, and that's being generous. Um, just had a hard time falling asleep because I knew I had to get up early to go to the bank, but on top- oh man, this thing's really, really out of shape here. I don't think coming back through is going to be any better for us, so. I'll probably have to sit on that for a little bit later, but I don't want to completely squish it. Because, you know, that's going to be problematic. We might have to replace this guy soon. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we kind of have our sections laid out, and let's get our tool sorted here. I also had to take some allergy medication. Um, I also had a hard time sleeping because the dog wasn't well. One of the doggos um, kept making like snarking noises all night like like stuck post nasal drip and like his whole body was like vibrating when he was trying to make these noises and we weren't sure what the fuck was going on and then he stopped so windy yesterday but then he stopped and we're like oh okay like when I finally looked up 
how much Benadryl I could potentially give him. And um, he was going to fight me on taking it. And the husband was busy, so I was like, okay. And then he stopped making the noise, and I'm like, okay, maybe we're done with that. And then, <laughs> um, just as the husband was going to bed, he started all up again. And I was like, yo, come here, I need your help. So we kind of held him in place while we took an eyedropper to get some, some Benadryl in him to see if it was like an allergy thing because if it was an allergy thing then the Benadryl would have calmed it down and maybe within 10 minutes he kind of settled a little and looked like we betrayed him and I was like oh okay I, I didn't even give him like a full dose for his doggy size because I was nervous like I gave him like a third of what he probably should have had and um like four hours later, almost on the nose, he walked into um, our bedroom and Russell was um, in here with me last night and uh, he came in snirking and making snotty noises and so we gave him another round of about, you know, less than half of what he should have had. And he seemed to settle a bit again, and we're like, okay, so it's doing something. But we weren't sure if we were going to have to go to the vet, and I'm like, maybe we're overreacting. Maybe it's just a sinus issue right now. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, we're supposed to have some severe weather, potentially. So we'll see what tomorrow brings after the rain, if it calms down any at all. And if he's still acting kind of fucked up on... Wednesday without too much improvement we might have to take him if it gets worse or it doesn't seem to help anymore we'll uh, we'll have to see how things go I think so I'm I'm just so fucking exhausted and then we had to go to the bank to drop the insurance money in because I had to go with them because we we're going inside and we just wanted to make sure that there wasn't going to be any trouble and he wanted me to come with him because of the amounts of the insurance checks and I'm like okay so we already kind of looked at this yesterday um, and kind of walked through working on it but for those that weren't able to watch the planning stream We can start over from the beginning of the tutorial and just kind of, kind of go. Now he's kind of got like this dusty purpley color that might have a couple of gray tones from the Prussian blue shining through, but um, I'm not gonna do gray tones in there because um, because um, we're putting trees in on top of it, so it seems a little counterproductive to do that. I am subscribed to the Bob Ross YouTube channel on my main YouTube account that's signed in on Chrome. I'm not signed in on Mozilla. It's easier this way because with OBS, even though I'm telling it to um, capture a specific window, if I accidentally click off of said window, it shows whatever I'm on, even Discord if I'm trying to message the husband about something so I'm like mm. okay like you guys are cool and all but you don't need to see my uh, my bitching to the husband about some things so where the fuck are you what are you doing can you come get the dog 
I really need you to take the dog, buddy. <laughs> you know, you all don't need to see that. Alrighty. So I've chosen Vintage Heather for our sky background here. And this is from Paintbox Yarns. And this is from their Simply Chunky. Not their Simply Super Chunky, just the Simply Regular Chunky. Although I will say, going back and looking at the different um, varieties and uh, types of yarns that Paintbox produces, um, it's pretty much the same shade through all of them. I mean, you'll have dye-lot subtlety differences, more than likely. But, um, you know, they seem to have similar colors if not the same colors running through all of their variations, whether it's the Aaron, was it Aaron DK or, or their Simply Chunky or their Simply Super Chunky. Now they don't have all of the shades in every type. I think, I think this Super Simply Chunky only has 25 shades available right now and I will say the yarn is made in Turkey and they do have a lot of colors out of stock in the super in the uh, simply chunky excuse me so I don't know if those shades are coming back I don't know I hope I don't have to find another brand of yarn I'm hoping that they'll be able to recover and keep the company going after the terrible earthquakes in Turkey. I, I couldn't even find where the like the the yarn was made in Turkey. It just says made in Turkey. I was trying to look it up but I couldn't find like a city. So I'm hoping that they are still able to keep producing. Or at the very least that they can back now I don't know if any of their manufacturing plants were damaged in the earthquake I don't know I hope not but we'll see and if we can't get what we're looking for from paint box we'll just have to switch to a different brand that's within our budget. That's all. But I think I've got enough yarn to last me for a little bit here. So I haven't had to replenish any colors yet, but I haven't done that much with the paint box balls specifically. So we'll see. We've been, uh, mostly relying on the um, the big twist for the large chunks of stuff but this was just the color that was going to work out and I love this since we fluffed it and I don't know if it's coming across on camera or is this just a thin spot I don't think it's a thin spot um, when you fluff some of the acrylic yarn, the different shades that went into the different shades, different strand shades that went into making this color, right? You start to see them after you've brushed the yarn out and then you're tapping it back in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, hey, I forgot to remove the sticker. <laughs> we should probably do that. And we probably should have lifted that up sooner. So we don't get it too stretched out. When we do go to lift it. Um, it's like you can see a little bit of the variation in the shade in there. Did you get everything cut or do I need to cut no, there's anything? there's some stuff that I haven't cut because it'll keep longer. Basically, the, the, I saved some of the peppers, mm -hmm. but I can cut them later. Did you cut any of them? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. No, you got enough for tonight at least. It feels weird because we didn't buy cucumbers. I feel like we forgot to do stuff. But I guess it is redundant. Doing cucumbers and pickles. We got stuff to do salads for dinner tonight. Which is probably a good thing because I am so fucking tired. I don't think I could contemplate making what I was originally going to do for dinner tonight. So I'm fine with that. I am okay. Because my brain is just numb right now. The only reason I decided to go live now was because I felt like if I laid down to try to take a nap, um, by the time I fell asleep I was going to have to get up, number one. And number two, there was no guarantee that I was going to be functional after getting up from a nap. I might have had a blinding headache so I was like well let's just go now right and we might just end early today instead we'll see how the, the afternoon goes um, I'm just getting some caffeine into me right now but I also did take a tiny sip of Benadryl <laughs> because my own allergies were kicking my ass, to be perfectly honest. So I can't blame the pupper for being all miserable last night, so. Totally felt his misery last night and this afternoon. It's been so windy. And all of the trees are blooming. And just all of the things. Like, I was sitting here sneezing like crazy earlier. Just from the window being open. But it's so warm out, I can't not open the window. It's like summer right now. It, it's it's 70 some degrees already. I think it was 72 when we ran to Walmart this morning at like 9.30. Like what the hell? What happened to spring? Did we not get spring this year? We'll probably plant our seeds this weekend. Ooh, you know what we saw when we were at Walmart? We came in through the garden center. We really shouldn't have because we see all of these plants that we want to do things with and we just don't have the money. And I don't know how hard I want to invest in the yard if we don't know if we're going to be staying here long term, you know? I mean, I'd, ra I'd be okay with doing like some smaller little things, but like I don't want to get too crazy and like garden planning but we saw we saw bulbs for for black leafed elephant ears I was like what is this it's like that is crazy I didn't know this species existed because we think our 
all their elephant ear bulbs died. We don't think they survived the winter. And those bulbs are expensive. The, the black elephant ear bulbs were, well, to me they were expensive because everything's expensive to us right now. Um, it was two bulbs for $11.99 and I was like, for two teeny tiny bulbs? Are we sure about this? Now I know that, you know, as they grow and get bigger, they are a bulb that you can hypothetically split. But, that's still a lot for just two, because you have to give them a chance to grow, right? So. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Who's messaging you? My mother. So yeah, so we had the Doggo Saga overnight. So I'm a bit more scattered and exhausted than normal. And then... Um, we also had a little bit of news. So the... Husband declared defeat Saturday night on his side of the duo zoo that we were doing that was in the same file where we were um, we were uh, sharing the same save file back and forth because we both have the same we're using the same copy of Planet Zoo. Um, it didn't make sense to buy a second copy when we could do Steam family share with budget being tight and everything so um, and we can use that on family share so that's fine so he declared defeat on that zoo file and he wanted to start over with a new one and in the new one we're not gonna send the file back and forth um, he picked out a specific map for us to use and this time money's gonna count. He enabled money. We were gonna do just straight up franchise, but there was some things that um, he didn't like that were going on with franchise at the moment. Um, apparently some people are being silly with the animal marketplace and charging like the maximum amount they can for, they're like buying everything and then charging like as much as they can and like reselling the animals and uh like um okay then right so he didn't want us to get stuck not being able to afford any animals what the hell is she sending you target calendar bug juju oh And, um, so he's started over with that. Um, we gave ourselves a little bit more starting cash than Franchise does. So I believe Franchise started at like 40. Uh, we've decided to start at 75. And then we picked um, the option to power everything, so we don't have to um, be running or placing power stations everywhere. So, sorry about the do-do-do-do-do if you can hear it. I don't have any control over the do to do right now. So, if 
apologies for that. So yes, we've started over. He started his his start over zoo um, last night. And we're gonna try to take screenshots of different parts of our zoo that we've worked on in the in our most recent turn and um, we're gonna do like a little slideshow in the corner or something while we're building so other people can see it. or some such. Or we can just run through the screenshots manually um, before and like before we really get started working on our own section or whatnot. So um, this time around if you want to actually see his builds, um, see him building those builds, you're going to have to go to his YouTube channel. Or you can catch him live when he's working on his. Now, he doesn't normally stream on Sunday. He just, I think, was bored and wanted to work on it. So I don't know. Don't eat yourself simple. Mm -hmm. We got salad stuff, so I just don't want. There's a very real chance to use these allergies because apparently Tessa's having the same problem today. Uh, I'm thinking it is. You and I are just we're struggle busting hard today between sleep and allergies, and I am fucking melting. Hang on, I gotta turn this fan on. It is hot as shit in here. And as much as I don't want all of the pollen coming in. Um, it's hot in here. and But it's not hot enough to uh, justify the air conditioner because the heat was running last night. So I'm like, or was it last night? Was it, maybe that was the night before, maybe. And I'm just like, what in the freaking hell is happening? Okay. So first, first days jumping into these guys, we're always gonna be a little bit slow getting our base color in. And I was mentioning this yesterday, the sad part about, about this is that, um, A lot of this color is going to get um, covered up because of the trees coming in. So there's going to be, in his, there was very little of this color shining through. And I mean very, very little. And that kind of made me sad, so we might try to work it so that as we're doing this, we get a little bit more of that shining through here. I mean, it is a gorgeous color. And we're going to all of the trouble of putting it in. 
so I feel like we should at least try to maybe space things just so so that it can get a little bit more visual on it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how the things and stuff go. Now, we already picked out what colors on the fluff that we were going to use for this yesterday. So, if you missed that stream, um, it should still be up here. Or it will be on the YouTube channel later. Tonight, probably. If not, tomorrow. Um, I was thinking about live streaming Wednesday afternoon. I have to, um, I have to make a flower arrangement for Easter for my dad's grave. My mom wants to put something up there and And she's like, but, you know, if we put a real plant up there, I don't know if there's deer that frequent the cemetery at night. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I think there might be a wooded section right near there. Maybe. Um... Man, my sinuses started burning the second I turned that fan on. But, um... You know, it'd be a shame to spend that much money on a real plant that might end up dying because we're not going to be up there watering it every day or um, getting something that's going to get eaten. And I know there are plants that deer don't like to eat. But, um... She was originally thinking about getting a squirrel statue to put up there, and I'm like, uh, if you really want to, but I could probably just make you something. Maybe we'll see like a little tiny squirrel statue that we can stick in the arrangement or something. So I was thinking of live streaming me doing the arrangement, however, I don't think I have the right camera angles for it. So, probably won't be able to uh, do that very easily. So I'll probably make that on Wednesday at some point, or I could just make it Tuesday night, and um, Wednesday afternoon. Oh no, we won't have it this stuff till, till Wednesday. What am I talking about? Um, we're not going to get the stuff till, till Wednesday. So, um, I'm going to try to squeeze in a Planet Zoo stream here somewhere. I don't know if it's going to be Tuesday night or Wednesday night. I have to see what the husband and Tyler are doing and what their plans are. Um, I don't know if I'll have the chance Wednesday afternoon to do the Planet Zoo stream. I think I will. Then I can just do the arrangement Wednesday night when they're doing guy time, if they do guy time this week. Um, Cause I kinda wanna get started on my new zoo. And we're gonna have like similar parameters to the last one except we haven't laid out pathways yet. We're kinda in free roam mode of put shit where you want with this map although this map does have some terrain challenges and you know we have to make sure that we can survive with the money that we have so we need to make the money um but we're still gonna spin for what we're gonna build 
and um, how many species we have to put in there. Now, did you remove bugs from the wheel? Uh, no, I did not. Or are you going to leave it up because there's a hefty amount of bugs? Yeah, I'm there. just going to leave it up. And then if we run out of species, we run out yep. of species. Okay. So, like, we're still going to spin as to whether it's going to be, you know, what biome it's going to be, or um, we've added in, instead of just the word exhibit, we've added in, um, what the fuck was it? Reptiles. Reptiles, amphibians, and bugs. Amphibians and insects. Now, he did his first spin to see what he was going to be building last night. And he got fucking tundra. And he's like, no. He's like, we were, we just. He's like, I admitted defeat on the tundra in the previous challenge zoo against each other. He's like, can we please spin something else? He's like, I don't want to do tundra again right away. He's like, we were just doing tundra in the other ones where we left or where we stopped. And I was like, yeah, alright, that's fine. So he spun again and he got insects or bugs or whatever and he got six. So that means when I get in there I need to build an insect exhibit area with six different species of insectidoos. trying to make sure I'm like pulling from the inside as much as I can just to, in the hopes of attempting to keep the um sorry I didn't know if I had a piece of fluff loose in hopes of attempting to keep the edges somewhat intact. It probably won't remain that way, more than likely, but, uh, you know, we'll see. We will see. Hmm. One of my things is missing. Hold on. I don't know why this isn't in the chat. Streamlords. <laughs> hmm. Animated overlay, streamlord overlay. So I should have. A chat bot. Oh, it says it's connected for Twitch. Alright. Okay, we'll let that go then. Okay. Alright. Next step. Want to make sure that we're getting our edge in place here. And then we'll start to work out 
from the edge do. So how's everybody's Monday going so far? I hope that it's treating you well. I mean, any day can be rough, but sometimes your own personal Monday, if it is, if it is even, oh, words today, if it is even your personal Monday, it's Monday in the real world, but maybe you view your Monday as your first day back at work after your day's off, and maybe you're off today. Who knows? I think my schedule when I left the casino, it's been some time, so I don't fully remember working grave shift. Really fuck you over sometimes with remembering what day it was. I think I was off Tuesday night and Wednesday night. only time I didn't really and, and it was weird because you know when you're working midnight to 8 you were getting off at 8 a.m. and it already kind of felt like it was digging into your day off it was weird at least with how my brain viewed it I mean it kind of made up for it a little bit because Thursday you didn't go in until like midnight Thursday night, so you had a little bit of extra time on Thursday. But you know, then you were sleeping, like you had to be asleep by a certain amount of time, or a certain time to get a certain amount of sleep. So that you could function. Grave shift is not easy. Not at all. I mean, I have trouble sleeping normally anyway, but, you know, I'm also like laying in bed and I am trying to read or, or something. I'm not expected to be, like I don't have to be at all systems go dealing with other people. So it's a little bit easier to deal with. In, um, in that respect, but I don't know, I always felt like my days off got cheated working, um, overnights because, you know, we were eating into our day off, traveling home from work, and then going to run errands immediately before we went to bed, and getting our dinner slash breakfast into us before we went to bed. So, like, our first day off of the week, we didn't really even get to think about settling down for bed some, some weeks, some days, until like one in the afternoon, maybe two, depending on what the heck we had to get done. Does he need to potty? Yeah. The mole monster needs to potty. Oh, nose. Fish it is chilling in the corner. We don't have fish at cam.
Well, husband needs to put more moss in the crab tank from our box of moss today. The green shelled crab seemed kind of pissed off last night that his mossy mound was missing. But uh, Russell had to dispose of that one that was in there. It had kind of died already. We don't have quite the right lighting for it in there. Oh, you also need to check the heater. The hot pads for in there to make sure it's not too hot. Uh, they should be alright. Because it's like going on 80. Yeah, they should be alright. It's not that much more than in here. Because we have like heating pads stuck to the side of the tank. Didn't want to cook them. That wouldn't be good. But yeah, he like walked over the dish that the moss had been chilling in and was really mad. Like he walked over it and all of his little arms were like going and I'm like, oh, he looks pissed. <laughs> and then I realized that the moss was missing and I was like, hey, what happened to the moss? He's like, oh yeah, the food got a little moldy before I could get it switched out and uh, they drug the moss through the mold and since the moss touched the moldy food, he goes, I have to get rid of the moss so it doesn't spread it, so the moss doesn't get moldy. And I was like, oh. I was like, do we have any more? And he goes, yeah, yeah, we still have a bunch in the box. And I was like, all right, you should probably put that back in because he did not seem pleased. It was like the most expressive I've seen that one be. They loved playing in that mossy thing. They were hiding under it. They were trying to drag it out of the container it was sitting in. It wasn't a fancy container either. It was sitting in like, um, like a soap, a suction cup soap dish from like Dollar Tree that had like little drainage holes in the bottom of it. It wasn't anything fancy. But, uh, I guess I should say he or she. Because we don't know what sex they are. <laughs> Pet store just said hermit crabs. And while it is possible to breed them for like, um, for like your everyday person, it, while it is possible to breed them, it has been done. It's a lot of work in very specific conditions. So, um, it's not easy. At all. To get that to happen. And it's like cotton candy. I'm not a huge fan of eating cotton candy. I mean, I'll get some once in a while when we went to the boardwalk, like every six months or every year or whatever, but um, it's not like I'm dying to have cotton candy. Take it or leave it. Kind of thing. Kind of working on getting this edge tapped in here. And I know we've got some gappy guys. That's fine. Not staying like that. We kind of have to put in all of our purple before we start putting in our trees. 
because there's some sections of purple showing around the trees. Oh, now the cat's sneezing. Oh, it's it's got to be bad allergies with the doggo. Now cow is starting, and cow usually can have some real bad sinus things. Oh, and they were trimming trees today. I guess because, I don't know if it was scheduled or if because they're talking potential for tornadoes and high winds and hail in our area tomorrow and it kind of needs to be done. I think maybe we learned our lesson. I would like to hope from winter where we had a heavy wet snowstorm come in and then they hadn't done any tree maintenance, power company, and then transformers started blowing left and right in town. Because I don't know how long it had been since they had done tree maintenance and uh, the tree branches started touching the power lines and the transformers and stuff and it was like, oh shit, problem, we got a problem, so, you know. That's how that tends to go, but maybe that was just an isolated spot. That house did have some pretty thick tree branches coming close to the power lines um, over their driveway. I don't know if they called and asked the power company to do it. I don't know if the power company did it on their own. It was definitely a power company truck. And uh, I thought it was weird when they had pulled up, like, across their driveway. And I was like, oh, hmm, huh. I guess they're going to do some work on the transformer. And then next thing I knew, I still saw the truck sitting there, but there were all these logs cut up on the ground in sections in the driveway. And I was like... Wait, are they doing tree maintenance? So I don't know if it was just that property. I would like to think that it's throughout town they're working on it today. But, you know, I could be very, very wrong. And I'm probably, you know, ill-informed of such things happening today. Wouldn't be the first time. Whew. So we definitely might not be going till four. I'll tell you that right now. Um, right now, we might be struggling to make it to two. We'll see. We will see. And I'm not really putting much pressure at all on this bit of fluff. My finger's just resting on it. I'm not like pushing down, it's just resting. It makes it a little bit easier when um, dealing with this stuff. Because if I don't have my finger there, then it's just gonna grab like all of the fibers ever and just start eating them all up and we're not going to make it to the natural end of this when we should. It kind of pulls it all in a little prematurely unless you know you tack down the end there and then even sometimes you can see where the other fibers that you tack down in here are being pulled to go in the other direction. But, you know, not a huge problem either way. If that's what it wants to do, that's what it wants to do. found a bag of 
plain Cheerios. And like a resealable pouch when we were at Walmart. And a clearance section. Still in date. Still very much in date. For 75 cents. And I was like, why is this over here? It's a decent sized pouch. And I'm like, fuck it. We're gonna get it. In fact, I'm gonna go grab that. I'll be right back. Dog didn't want the Cheerio. Wow. Well, no flavor to Cheerio. No. But it's gluten free and can help lower cholesterol as part of a heart healthy diet. I think it was a dollar and it was all clearance for 75 cents. Mike. Okay. Sure. Why not? Sorry, I've got to eat if I'm going to stay awake. For at least a little bit longer. So I at least wanted to get started on this guy today. So stream schedule for this week, let's talk about that here for a minute. So um, I don't have anything planned for Tuesday as of right now. If something happens tomorrow, it's going to be spontaneous and I'm not anticipating anything happening tomorrow because we've got weather coming in and I'm probably going to be glued to watching all of the weathery things and seeing what everybody else is saying about what's happening. And, you know, it might be where I have to take cover. And, um, I want to be able to be on top of if I need to do that, since I know it's coming, potentially, for tomorrow. So nothing planned for tomorrow. We might do something on Wednesday with Planet Zoo. Maybe. Have to think about it. Depends on how, A, I'm feeling. Excuse me, and B, what, um, what the husband's plans are with Tyler on Wednesday, if they make any. Oh my goodness, I feel like I need to sneeze again. Or I'm going to sneeze again. Whew. Alright, so it's gonna work on tapping that in along our hemline here. Now at the moment it doesn't you know, quite matter a whole heck of a lot if we get this touching this um, this line perfectly. There's gonna be other stuff happening here that will be helping to fill that all in. Sorry, I was looking at the sample of how I think we're gonna try to make this look. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, stream schedule. We didn't finish, so we might do something on Wednesday. Maybe. Thursday we'll definitely be here for Coral Island. Exploring all of the things that we've got going on in there. Friday we'll be back with the solo Planet Zoo stream. Uh, and that's with me working on Streamland Park. And then Saturday we should be back. I still need to add Saturday to the schedule. I hadn't yet because I wasn't sure if it was going to be consistently doing something on Saturday afternoon, but that seems to be um, doing okay with me um, making that time slot. So, um, yeah, we got that going on. But then, Sunday, Sunday is Easter, um, at least here in the States. It might be a worldwide holiday for those that celebrate it. Um, we don't really celebrate it that much. We're, we're just gonna make dinner. But because we're making um, a slightly involved dinner, I'm not going to be streaming a Sunday, I'm taking Sunday off. So that's all the more reason why I wanted to try to stream today. Just to uh, make sure that we weren't missing two days this week instead of just the one. Who was that? Mm -hmm. Who made that noise? A cow. Okay, he's made a few of them now, so I am beginning to think it might just simply be bad allergies. Because he was doing that a few times when he was walking all over your desk. I'm wondering if they cut hay and all of this wind on top of everything else. Because there's all kinds of hay fields around where we are. Like, we don't necessarily live completely in the sticks. Like, we have a grocery store, like, maybe two minutes walk from the house, maybe three depending on how fast you're walking. And there's a gas station and a car wash and a Sonic fast food place. But um, at the same time, it's there's still some sections of farmland still kicking around here that hasn't been developed into a suburb. And uh, it seems like almost every available ounce of space they're growing hay in for the livestock and oh boy I know those critters gotta eat but damn do I feel like shit when they are in the process of cutting those fields and they're leaving it out to dry before they bale it oh my goodness This is just a step that I'm doing. It's not necessarily something you have to do. It's just one that I'm doing. Just helps, um, I find that it helps it lay a little bit flatter in sections. Sorry, I'm sitting here thinking, am I gonna make it? For as long as I was originally planning to stream, I don't know if I am. I mean, does it really count as being close to being up for 24 hours if you only had like an hour and a half nap? Maybe. 
I'm not even really sure if I slept that much. Because I felt like every time I was just starting to fall asleep, something happened. Like, at first my brain just didn't want to shut down, and then after that, when I was finally being able to shut down, then the dog came in with problems, and by the time I got him sorted and tried to fall back asleep, then I had to get up so we could go run a couple errands real quick that needed to be dealt with early. Because we weren't sure if we were suddenly going to have to try to do an emergency vet visit. And you know, all of the things that just started snowballing from there. You know how it goes. Alright, yeah, I think it's going to be a super short stream today. My, my mind is melted, and just trying to get my eyes to remain open while doing this, it's really intense. I think we're going to have to sleep, or at least try to. Yeah, we'll just have to finish attaching that later. But you know, it's it's starting to lay in. I'm not sure why this section's a little bit lighter. I almost wonder if I had a little bit of a lighter gray mixed in there. Because now that I'm looking at it, that's like the only section that looks like that. But you know what? As much as it's bugging me now, I'm not going to fuss it too hard. <coughs> Excuse me. Because there's like a big ash tree that's going to sit here. So it's going to end up covering it up anyway. So yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't power through and go a little bit further, but uh, I'm I'm done. Um, I will be back on either Wednesday or Thursday, and we'll figure things out then. So make sure you're following all the socially places down below to make sure you're aware of when we are going live. Um, enjoy your week, guys. Stay safe. If you are going to be in any of the severe weather tomorrow, make sure you are weather aware have a way to get notifications and alerts. And until next time, you guys, have a good one.